Today is the 28th of July. I'm Sammy. Today, Jupiter entered Aquarius. And that's where Saturn is. And it is opposing the Sun and Mars until tomorrow when Mars enters Virgo. So today has been hectic energy. Um, what happens is Jupiter likes to expand on things, good or bad. The crypto markets have been going up. That's been happening, I think, the last few days, the closer Jupiter got. And so that's just one way it can expand money, technology, things like that. But it will also expand negative technology as far as things that we're seeing in the world on a large scale. Saturn is there in Aquarius, and so this is just a very important moment today. So I wanted to get on here and talk about it. I can't talk too openly, but you're welcome to get on Telegram and join the Sammy Lane group. Um, but so Saturn imposes restrictions. And so unfortunately, we're starting to see those limitations and restrictions being imposed on the people, which is Aquarius, and um, knowledge. Aquarius is the knowledge bearer and it's about bringing information, it's about transferring information, teaching information, bringing knowledge and a higher understanding. Unfortunately, the dark is aware of astrology too <laughs> and it's just incredible how it all works out like the first day Jupiter's come back into Aquarius with Saturn Saturn is going to be the stronger energy here so Jupiter is expanding on on these restrictions again so whatever mandates are being imposed by you today they're happening all over today out of nowhere today that's Jupiter um, be aware if you are investing that the market is going up right now but it will be continue to be volatile and going into August will probably crash again I'm just saying so I wouldn't invest too much unless it's just going to be short, quick turnaround just right here in the next week or so. Because once we get in further into August, yeah, Saturn uh, will be opposed the sun next week, I think. Um, I want to say it's like August second through the fifth but it might be before that it might be the first to like the sixth anyways the first week in August is going to be hectic and we're going to feel even heavier restrictions that's already started today thanks to Jupiter but I just wanted to come on for anyone who's going to see this astrology is so dead on it's just so on point and these things were predicted based on the astrology so people can use it for good or bad you know and sometimes things just are and sometimes it's just fate uh, sometimes it's just your destiny like is that to say that it, you don't have free will I don't know. I think we we have a say and we have a choice always, but many times we end up choosing that which is our destiny anyways on a large scale collectively and then individually too. Just thinking about this energy, it's like it's been ramping up, you know. 
and with all of this Mars here in Leo up until I think tomorrow tomorrow on the 29th Mars will go into Virgo um, but right now Mars and Leo Sun and Leo people may be wanting to express their opinions people may be hot-headed and feeling this fire of really wanting to fight for what we believe in so that may be another reason why we're feeling oppression coming from the other side as well in order to combat that Aquarius is about humanity a higher perspective it's a higher the highest octave of an air sign so think about Gemini as the first air sign as the researcher the teacher you know constantly stimulating and learning new things and then Libra starts incorporating more of the social aspects of justice and how we work together and what's best for everyone and then Aquarius brings in the higher higher knowledge of otherworldly alien-like eccentric and and artistic creative ideas that are very progressive that can involve technology AI medicine and if we don't get this right if we don't use this Leo energy to our advantage and follow our hearts and what's best for us we may be taken advantage of at this time Saturn and Aqua with Jupiter it's like restricting the people restrictions on humanity and I think the stricter they get hopefully the more awake we become and the more ambition and drive we have to fight back that's what I'm hoping do not get upset or fear fearful or or allow this energy to drain you you want to stay try to stay in the leo energy as much as possible of course we want the aquarian uh humanity based understanding about what is best for everyone but it's very important to stay in the leo heart space which is compassionate and giving and generous and warm in its most evolved state of Leo so thinking of others doing things for others embracing our own heart and our own desires in in the best way possible for the highest good of everyone involved and we need to be willing to stand up right now and probably fight back because the longer we wait on that the more they're taking and this has been a long time coming now and people are getting really sick of it so I'm hoping that we see this change soon it will progress into Virgo when people get more analytical and they want to see facts and data and and really collect and gather the truth Virgo doesn't skip a beat Virgo's on it we're going to have Venus there and Mars there starting tomorrow. So decluttering is really great right now. Reorganizing, reorganizing your life. Many people will feel the need now to pivot in career or relationships. You may be finding um, that things feel toxic or restrained or just stagnant. If the energy is stagnant, and not moving one way or the other you may be deciding to cut that out that person that relationship that job we're being asked to pivot and spiritually speaking not just astrologically but spiritually speaking we're being asked to let go of those things that we've known for a while aren't good for us We've probably been shown many times to let go and somehow we let that energy back in you are being asked to pivot to your highest octave available to you now in your ascension process so whether that means career 
choosing a higher career path where you are more involved in service, more involved with other people, um, whatever it means for you. You know, we all have our own path here. So I just wanted to talk about this very quickly. I'm going to pull a couple cards because I am feeling not fearful. I'm feeling hopeful and joyful as we all should because that's what they want is the fear is to be timid and shy and fearful and give in to things and we're not going to do that. So we really need to stay in the heart space now uh, in truth and um, that more of a fully encompassing sense of faith that we know we're here for a reason, we're doing our best, and the energy is difficult right now, but that's when it boils over, you know, that's when it reaches that boiling point, when it gets too hot. So we have to reach a point where people are forced to say something, to speak up for themselves, to fight back, in a sense, peacefully, however that may be. Demonstrations, whatever. Um, and there's going to be that need for community and uh, the ability to gather and organize people together, maybe, coming into this, this time of Virgo with Venus and Mars and then when the Sun enters Virgo it will be even more so so um, at the very end of August or the 22nd of August when we have another full moon in Aquarius this energy is going to be maxed out this energy is going to grow exponentially because it will be the second full moon in Aquarius in the 29th degree uh, of of Leo so it will be the 29th degree of Leo the Sun and then and then the moon will be in the 29th degree of Aquarius so that's the fullest extent of that energy you know and it's a, the strongest point for both and it's just gonna it's gonna be nuts so um, explosions protests, a lot of crazy energy, and I think it's needed. And so I'm going to hope for the best, but I just do feel high energy um, in the heart space. So if you're feeling that as well, you may want to ground yourself. This is my way of grounding, is sharing information, pulling cards, lighting a candle, meditating for a bit, and just connecting with spirit. So when we do that, if you just open, if you practice um, opening your heart chakra, breathe deeply through your nose and focus on this point in your chest, in the center. And um, I do this all the time. So just imagine, I've shared this before too, imagine that uh, your chakra is like a big green, uh, like a, I guess an emerald it would be, or any kind of shape that you want like a crystal imagine it there and it's huge so it feels and you feel it close your eyes and you can feel it and the energy coming off of it pulsating maybe um, for me it spins and the, the stronger I feel and the more open I am to spirit and the more I call in that light from above it spins faster and faster and the more it does that it's it's like accumulating electromagnetic energy. Like if you could see a force field around me, like we all have auras, right? So imagine that my aura, your aura at that point in time, is expanded like to 10 feet out, then 50 feet out, then 200 feet out, then a football field out, you know, and then like a mile out and then see it encompassing your whole community. And really breathe that in as you're doing it. Take your time with it. You might want to put on like some binaural beats. Um, I use a 532, I think it is. 528 and then 4, 432 megahertz. Those are good. And they just keep going up. There's like 10,000 megahertz. 
um, just depending on the feeling that you're looking for but it's really important to stay open right now don't allow yourself to close down or close in and that put on that fearful shell you know of of being controlled that's not gonna happen so we're gonna fight <laughs> like that's it and we're gonna fight with with the light and the love that we have because that beats all you know and um, so there's no need for that type of aggression it's just a very firm no thanks very firm standing my ground that type of energy so let's ask spirit we're just going to ask for a couple cards spirit for today as jupiter has moved into aquarius a couple cards for the collective please spirit okay So, Ten of Wands, heavy burden, stress, or feeling like we've been putting in a lot of work towards something. We've already been dealing with this for a really long time. And this could be in your individual life. You know, you may be feeling fed up with things. Or this could just be how we're all feeling in different ways. Um, humanity as a whole for what we're up against together. But also how we feel individually, combined. So this energy is just very heavy and uh, it's like needing to let go of some things. Maybe there's some issues in your life where you've been pushing for something really hard and you're just finally going to give it up um, or just let go of the outcome, let go of, of that need to control the outcome. Um, other than that, it is a wand so it is about fire energy. And so this is about putting an effort and like hitting a wall. It's like I've been doing so much for so long or working so hard at something and it just hasn't paid off yet. And the burden is so heavy, like the stress is just too much. It's overwhelming at this point. So we're just sick of it. This is, this is coming into this boiling point. The next card is the hangman. This is a Piscean card. This is incorporating our spiritual mind. This is looking at things from a different perspective. This is pausing, um, kind of hesitating, reflection, thinking about it, you know, taking time to really understand what it is we're feeling. What are our options? And trying to see from other people's perspectives too. Listening to others is important at this time. Um, and not everybody's doing that. I feel like it's just one side trying to make everybody do the same thing and go along with this plan that they have and that's not incorporating freedom or anybody else's uh, personal opinions or beliefs. We do have the victory card. So this is six of wands. This is about a homecoming. This is about uh, being celebrated or getting the credit that you deserve. I feel like this could be more things coming out publicly because this is a card of public recognition um, or fame. So I think some time is going to have to pass here, obviously, before we get this victory. But the energy of today is what Spirit is saying. I think if we take some time to deeply reflect on how we're feeling, we can come out of this feeling like we're still in the game. You know what I'm saying? Six of Wands comes before Ten of Wands. So it's like if we really sit and think about this bird and how heavy we may be feeling, and we take the time to recuperate ourselves, relax a little bit, look at it in a different way and reflect, we can really come to that understanding, to that place that we're not done yet. We're not even close to being done. We're really at the six. We're not at the 10 yet, 10 being completion. We're almost back to the middle here. This is still feeling good. This is coming home after war and feeling celebrated. So this is saying we're not giving up by any means. We're ready to push forward and we know what we want. 
this is a, a, car vic a card of victory and success. So I think if we stay diligent and vigilant, we will have victory. But we don't have a choice. So let's just see if there's a lessons card. Please give us a lesson. What lesson are we learning as a collective at this time? What are we being asked to work on at this time for the collective humanity as a whole, please? Well, so a few popped out. We have fear, we have worry, absolutely. Okay, so we've been living in fear for the last year and a half. I mean, we haven't, but majority of the population has, right? So it says, I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Okay, so that's a cool card. We're working on fears. Mm -hmm. We're going to lay that burden down. We're going to come into this energy of victory. And what's cool is, after this worry card and fear, we also got success which is that same energy of the six of wands so the worry card says i am learning that worry doesn't change the outcome and that was that that feeling i was getting about control and needing to control that outcome so we know that worrying doesn't do anything we're going to have to act first we're going to have to collect our thoughts and data and truths and and our beliefs and be sure that we stand firm in those beliefs of course before we're ready to push forward with that and actually have a say and figure out how we're gonna do that and organize um, without things getting out of control. But regardless of this, fear and worry, okay, this is what we're putting away. That's ridiculous. And that's what they feed off of, okay? That's what pushes their agenda. If we didn't have this fear, they would have nothing. So in the end, we need to think about how we can have success. Let's focus on the positive here of what we can actually do in this moment. What are our options? We need to be planning for future um, circumstances, whatever that may be, both sides of the spectrum and anything in the middle, you know, planning for any possible outcome. But it says success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. So ultimately, we are being asked to love others, but also love ourselves enough to stand up for ourselves. Even if we're the only ones, even if there's no one else there, there will be others there because there's a lot of us. But you know what I'm saying? We can't give up. We're not giving up. We need to be in this energy of victory as it stands now in order for that to come into an even more amplified version of that manifestation because we know we can have this victory we know what we want as a collective and we're tired of persecution and fear and propaganda so in order to have success we got to be planning and we got to be pushing back and that's going to start real soon here. We're going to start seeing that here on the home front because it's been everywhere else in the world over the last week and it's time to come home to the good old US of A. So please be blessed. Uh, write how you're feeling in the comments for whoever watches this video. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.